So good afternoon, ma. So today we are going to discuss about your seventh problem. In this, a particle moving with velocity equal to zero point four meter per second, that is taken as a v one. That is taken as a v one. Magnitude of v one is equal to zero point four meter per second. And here, the acceleration given to you, or the acceleration acquired by that object, in two seconds. Is equal to zero point one five meter per second square. Meter per second square is a unit of acceleration. Now we'll go for v two. V two is equal to acceleration into t. What is the acceleration here? Zero point one five into two. T is equal to two seconds. So a t is equal to v. That is taken as zero point one five into two. Zero point three zero meter per second. 0.30 or 0.3. That is your second velocity. Now, what he is asking to calculate? He is asking to calculate to find the resultant velocity when these two velocities are perpendicular to each other. That means the angle between these two is equal to 90 degrees, and the first vector is v1, second vector is v2. And we need to calculate resultant of these two when they are perpendicular to each other. This is our problem. So to simplify this or to get this resultant, we'll go for parallelogram law of vector formula. Concept is parallelogram law of vector, where we have two vectors name p and q. P and q are acting. At a point, and the angle between those two is equal to theta, and resultant is r. Then r is equal to uh, root over p square plus q square plus 2p q cos theta. According to that, according to that concept, we will solve this problem. For that, what is our uh, resultant velocity? V r. V r square is equal to v1 square plus v2 square plus 2 v1 v2 cos theta. Cos theta. Theta is angle between v1 and v2. Now, v1, v1. This stuff writing v1. You will write 0.4. V2. You are writing 0.3 plus 2 v1 v2 cos of the angle between those two. Cos of the angle between those two. So by simplifying this like this, 0.4 whole square is equal to 0.16. 0.3 whole square is equal to 0.09. Plus two into zero point four into zero point three into zero. Because why? Why we are writing zero here? This stuff I did cos ninety. Why we are writing zero? According to our trigonometry, cos ninety is always equals to zero. Cos ninety is always equals to zero. That's why we are writing here zero. By simplifying these two, these two can be added as a zero point two five, and this zero is multiplied with zero point three, zero point two. Zero point four, whatever it may be. If you are multiplying once with zero, the total term will becomes zero. You will get zero point two five only. V R is equal to root over zero point two five. Zero point five meter per second. So this is our seventh problem. From the concept of parallelogram law of vector, we here calculate our resultant. V R by taking V one as a t, V two as a q. And theta is the angle between v1 and v2. Please note it down. We'll go for next sum. Pause this video and note it down. So in our next sum, here two cars are there. Both cars are separated by a distance of 150 meters. And they are traveling each other. When they are traveling each other from far distances, drivers applied brakes. Driver applied brakes. When they applied brakes, the distance between those two cars is 150 meters. After applying brake, their velocities are reduced. So. Acceleration decreases. Acceleration decreases, and that is taken as 
deceleration. So acceleration A is equal to negative sign uh, with magnitude. So the first car when he applied brakes with the velocity when he applied brakes whose velocity is 15 meter per second and after application of brakes definitely that velocity becomes 0 that is V is equal to 0 meter per second then their deceleration its deceleration not their its deceleration A is equal to minus 3 meter per second square minus 3 meter per second square at the same time the second car whose initial velocity u is equal to 16 meter per second with a deceleration a is equal to minus 4 meter per second square will come to halt after a certain time then whose velocity becomes 0 once again so until their velocities becomes 0 when he applied brakes their velocities becomes 0 they are 150 meters apart and they applied brakes both drivers are applied brakes they are moving somewhat forward and come to halt now there is a distance between them look this one this one and this one. how much it is how much it is this is what he is asking okay for that you need to calculate the distance covered by the car until its velocity becomes zero this one look by using the formula v square minus u square is equal to a s1 s1 is equal to v square minus u square by 2a and s1 is equal to v is 0 square u is 15 15 square 2 into a acceleration is minus 3 and 0 square minus 15 square is equal to 225 2 3s are minus 6 by dividing these two you will get 37.5 meters after applying brakes first car travels 37.5 meters okay go for the next one by using the same formula v square minus u square is equal to a s2 s2 is equal to v square minus u square by 2a where v is 0 final velocity and u is equal to 16 16 square 2 into minus 4 minus 8 minus minus will get cancelled and 256 divided by 8 will become 32. 32 meters covered by the second car. Once this covers 37.5 and this cover 32, the total distance covered by these two is equal to S1 plus S2. S1 plus S2. That is nothing but 69.5. How much distance left between these two? The total distance is equal to 150. That is taken as S. And S0 is the required distance, that means uh, how much distance between them is remaining to cover, remains to cover. 150 minus 37.5 plus 32 and you get 30, 69.5 and the net distance required to cover is 80.5 meters. The net distance required to cover is 80.5 meters. This is about two problems. In previous case, we used vectors concept. In this case, we used one dimensional motion concept. Okay. In our next video, I will give you somewhat a more idea about vectors. Who those are not listened yesterday, please go through that. Okay. You just prepare notes while doing this once again. Once again, you need to note it down in a notes. We will check it later. Definitely. Okay. Just go through it once. Note it down.